right there. Assalamualaikum everybody. Welcome back to another tutorials. Okay, today I'm going to guide you through the process of installing the KPHP frameworks on Windows 11 using Composer and also Laragon applications. So basically, KPHP is a PHP frameworks, all right, uh, that can simplify the web application development. It released as an open source uh, web frameworks using definitely PHP language. Right, uh, it's designed to make uh, the developing, deploying, and maintaining web application easier by providing a flexible architecture and suite of tools that help streamline the development process. All right, so with uh, using a KPHP, uh, you can develop a powerful web application quickly and efficiently. Right, uh, in this screen, all right, it shows that um, the KPHP websites, all right, you can access the KPHP website from or using the kphp.org links, okay. So, you want to download <coughs> uh, the KPHP framework into uh, local, uh, into local, uh, local machines uh, in my computers, right. So, click on the docs, all right, you can click on the docs. Then you can okay here it says that KPHP five is a web development framework running on PHP eight point three, so minimum is PHP eight point one required for KPHP five. Okay, then um you can go to installations. Okay, getting started installations. So this is a few system requirements. I believe um. <coughs> We already configure the Laragon. Okay, if let's say uh, you are not installed the Laragon yet, you can refer to my previous video that I have published to demonstrate on how to install Laragon and configure it. Okay, together with the composers. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> installing PHP. Okay, so before you start, make sure your PHP version is up to date. So we can check the php version so you can run the terminals okay then i want to check my php version php space dash v then i hit enter so currently i'm running on php 8.1 okay so it meet the minimum requirements okay the minimum requirements then installing the composer i already have composer in my computers uh then to create the project so I have composer. Right. Okay, composer is up and running. Um, so next one we need to create a KPHP projects. Okay, so you can create a new KPHP application using composer create project commands. I shown this one lah. So I just copy this one. Um, copy then I navigate back to the to my uh, terminals okay let's skip this one okay um this is not the right path for my uh, root folder eh? this is not my root folder for the laragon so right so the root folder for the laragon is in drive c okay drive c uh, laragon www okay so this is the root folder so i need to change the directory first so how to change the directory we go for cd stand for change directory c and slash dragon slash www okay so i hit enter so now um the terminal okay the parts already changed to c laragon www Okay, then I paste it. Okay, I paste the code uh, that you have copied uh, before. Then I change this one. I want the project name as KPHP, the folder names, right? This is the folder names or your project folder names. Okay, then I hit enter. Wait for a while until the installation process complete okay <clears throat> this depend you need you need to have a internet connections and depend on your internet connection speeds now nah. all right
Okay, now I have complete the installation. Then the terminal uh, need you to set the folder permission. So default is yes. Just key in Y as yes and hit enter. So it says that updated security source value in config app local.php. Okay, now okay, now you should be able to access your projects. Okay, so where this project download is simply in the C Laragon www. Then we have the kphp folder here. Okay, so inside the kphp folder we have the source file of the framework itself okay so next we need to test either we can access this project or not okay so let's go back to the web browser go to local host slash php okay so here is the welcome page okay means that you have successful install the kphp Okay, so currently I'm installing the KPHP version 5.1.1. Okay, um, so everything is good here except for the database. Alright, so KPHP is not able to connect to the database. Okay, why this happened? Because of we don't connect yet any database to the KPHP configurations. Okay, so next we need to configure or we need to create uh, database first, all right? So we go to localhost slash php my admin in order for you to access your database, all right? Okay, so this is root. I'll remove this one and click login. Okay, um, so uh, just ignore a few of the database that I have here, okay. Then we click on database, okay, database tab, right. Then after that, uh, we go for new database known as KPHP. I put uh, the same uh, name as the folder names or the system name. Ah. Then I click create. So now we have the KPHP database, all right? So we can create table later, yeah. Okay, so now we want to connect, okay, this framework, okay, the KPHP framework with KPHP database, okay. So how to do that? We can open, okay, we can open um, the, the, the KPHP folders, all right, in your individual studio code. So here... I change the directory cd to kphp. Then I run ps code. Nah. All right. So yes, I trust the author. So this vs code has already opened the the kphp folder. Or else you always can go to file, open folder, and navigate to the uh, root directory for Laragon and open the KPHP folder from there. Okay, so next one, how to configure the database to connect with the with the framework. So sorry, how to connect the framework with the database? Navigate to folder configs. Then we have uh, app local. Alright, so you just open the app local, then we have data sources. Alright, let me make it big. Alright, then after that we have data sources. Um, then we have username, right? So username change it to root, okay? Since the default username for uh, HP my admin is root, for the SQL is root, then password leave it blank. Then the database that we want to connect is click PHP. Then click save or control S to save the new parameter or new configurations. Then navigate back to the KPHP localhost slash KPHP. Then you refresh. You should see that KPHP is able to connect to the database. Alright. So now 
you have been successfully installed KPHP and um, configure uh, the KPHP frameworks to connect with the database. All right. Uh, so I think that's it. Okay. Uh, you have successfully installed and configure everything. Okay. Uh, if let's say you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment sections. Uh, Happy coding, guy. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum.